From Alex Vid, hey Adam, huge fan of your work and will definitely be voting for you for not president. I have an interesting question for you. Would you do a post or a video explaining how ANCAP principles can be applied to solve the situation in Israel-Palestine? I understand that most of the conflict is caused by the governments of these places and not the largely peaceful people, but say, for example, both of those governments are abolished and the people living there now have no borders between them. Will anarcho-capitalism work there? Well, Alex, you seem to have answered your question already when you point out that most of the conflict is caused by governments. And it's really uh, pointing out to me here the shortcomings of the term anarcho-capitalism or ANCAP principles. Like, how will anarcho-capitalist principles uh, deal with X situation when it's, it's really a matter of how will ethical people deal with this situation when people are ethical and embrace anarcho-capitalism, which is really more uh, accurately described in ethical terms as I prefer to describe it, voluntarism, the ideal that human relationships should be voluntary. So will anarcho-capitalism work there? That's like, will being ethical work there? Will, will being ethical stop all of the unethical things that we have a problem with? Yes, yes it will. Embracing ethics universally will stop unethical things from happening, as we see in the conflict in Israel and Palestine. Again, I understand most of the violence stems from the governments, but certainly there are some people who through brainwashing or other means have a deep-seated hatred towards each other and will inevitably commit aggression against each other even without the state present. Well, what the state does is give sanction to those people, make them protected from accountability, uh, make it harder to deal with them. So when you, when you force the truly evil, violent people in a society like that to fund themselves as opposed to steal from everybody through taxation, when, when you force them to uh, identify themselves as, as individuals and, and be held accountable for their violent interference, then yeah, uh, of course we're going to have better means of dealing with them. Governments just empower and magnify evil. So getting rid of governments, yes, will resolve the problems in Israel and Palestine entirely. What are some ways to solve these issues using ANCAP principles? Now, you might be trying to get at something else here, so I kind of have to reword this question. If you have those evil racist people who are so committed to their violence, how can we address those better with the free market than with government. Well, all right, right away, by dealing with them with the market instead of with government, we are saying, hey, we are not gonna empower them and magnify their evil. But it is appropriate to say, how will you proactively deal with them? Or at least how could a market proactively deal with them? And again, the ultimate answer is economic sanctions. And what the market will naturally provide a tendency to favor is cooperative, voluntary relationships that create wealth instead of destroy wealth. So in a society without government, even if there are evil people committed to organizing violence in the, the kinds of ways that we see in the settlements and the, uh, you know, the, 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 I almost want to call them reservations, but yes, the, the uh, Palestinian territories or the, in the country of Palestine that is so uh, very controlled by the government of Israel. Yes, uh, the, the, the people who advocate for those kind of violent, destructive, economically isolating policies will soon find themselves extremely isolated and they simply won't be able to continue those violent activities. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.